Hello everybody, how are you doing? So first of all, this match is kind of crazy because right now as we are starting, my team is already starting to flame and complain because we have a actual D3, right? A D3 diamond tree in the top lane and this kind of challenger grandmaster master match. So it's all over the place, right? it's all over the place. And this match is very useful because in this kind of matches, I'm going to be allowed to explain to you and tell you how it's how are you supposed to carry the matches how are you supposed to play these matches and actually get a lead and play around that and carry the game okay i mean i'm not perfect but i'm gonna give you the, the explanation of how it's supposed to be all right first of all in a match like this when you're facing a kais and a trace the first thing that you want to you want to do is take control of the way how do you take control of the way well well just hit in the way I mean, it is that simple, just hitting the wave. And because you have extra attack speed with the... Um with Alacrity Rune and your maxing double, you, you are going to be allowed to hit the wave way more than usual. That is to say, you are going to be able to maintain the push lane here, okay? You are going to be able to match and win the push if Kai'Sa makes a mistake. If she doesn't make a mistake, if she's on time on the wave, you're going to be able to match the wave, all right? And that's one of the biggest reasons why I am so fond of playing this build with double Jumax and actually Alacrity. Another thing here is you need to be very careful on how you want to play the match because there is a trash with hook and you need to be mentally ready to cleanse yourself from everything that's gonna come on top of you, okay? That is the first thing, you need to be ready to mentally ready to cleanse because if you are not, you're gonna do a late cleanse or the cleanse is gonna be kinda useless. So this is just a side note, okay? This is a side note because, uh, to be honest, look, look at this, look at this follow-up. Like I said before, the follow-up for this kind of kills is Calibrum Auto Attack into Calibrum Q into another Calibrum Auto Attack or Calibrum Mark and then Severum Q, okay? Because if you don't if you do not do that, if you do not do that, pay close attention to this, okay? If you don't go Calibrum Q here and you start with Severum Q, then when Trace is gonna be around that side, you're gonna try to land your Calibrum Q to secure the kill. And that is to say if she is if Trace is that close to dying and and guys is actually committing on pike, imagine you're trying to land that that Calibrum Q and Kaisa flashes. Do you land your Calibre Q? Probably not. You'll have to commit your flash to try to get that kill, okay? So listen, this is the rule that you have to follow if you want to get more kills in lane. 100%. When the enemy CCC start with Calibre and Auto Attack into Calibre Q or another Auto Attack if possible, like this. And then when she's, he's running away, you use a Verum Q to follow up, okay? That way you maximize your, your DPS output and you secure your skill shot while being able to still do the most damage possible okay it's just crazy how how easy is this one how how easy it is to to miss this too i used to make this mistake so much more in the past all right remember that that's very huge all right another thing here that i have seen a lot of low elo players do especially it happened in my games too when i was out of feeling you just need to wait this kind of place, okay? I know it's very tempting to walk up and get the CS and just try to push or contest the push because you have flash, you have cleans. Like, there is no way that you die, okay? There is definitely no way that you die here. But the thing here is, if they step up and you were step a little bit, you will have to burn your flash or cleanse to get away from there, okay? And this wave, this wave right here is 100%, 100% brother pushing to you, okay? So you just sit down, bro, sit sit down, take a chill pill and wait. Wait for the wave to crash closer to you. And now at this moment, you are allowed to play this out, okay? And because you are allowed to play this out, well, you can actually punish mistakes, as you can tell there. Right now, we're trying to keep the way closer to us, but since we... Okay, this is another thing. Right now, we keep we try to keep the way closer to us, but the moment we realize that guys are actually back, then at that moment, we can... Or, or if she gets away, we can push the wave. And because we have Inferno, we have an insane push, push potential, more, more than usual, way, way more than usual. All right? And because of that, we are allowed to... Well, push away. We cannot crash this because what happened was that Trish actually decided to stay here and he brought up Kaisa very, very fast. Otherwise, this, this will have crashed, okay? But no matter. It's just champion specifics. No matter. 
Now we know that they don't have they don't have their main abilities. Okay. Now what do we do? We just keep playing. We just keep playing. I don't flash, I don't cleanse because I know I can get away from this, okay? I can get away from this. Why? First of all, because Kaisa has no flash and she's not in range, okay? She cannot follow her freely. Now, another thing, Blade was charging up her CC, making us run away. So I don't need to flash there. And second, I can just run them down. I ideally I love to have clean I love to have ghosts in scenarios like this, but well, there are some scenarios where you cannot go clean. So we are here because Trace Q, Briars, Point and Click CC, even Shoot. And because of uh, also Jax, Jax CC. Because of that stuff, it's really hard to go clean. Either way, one thing that you have to follow here, and what you have to pay attention a lot here, is once they have committed to try to get you, and they do not succeed, then it's your turn. This is like, a, you need to think about this like a turn-based game, okay? Their turn is when they are pushing the wave and trying to get you. They use their abilities, they fail. Now it's your turn to do damage. And because now it's your turn to do damage, you are allowed to step up. And you step up this way. So easy, bro. And you pick up kills. You pick up kills so easy. And this is just tempo, brother. This is just tempo. You need to pay attention to, to how you win these team fights and how you wanna how you wanna play this out, okay? Now, even just try to save Kaisa, but he cannot, even with the flash. Now, I cleanse to avoid the, the slow, but I realized that, and I forgot about this, and this is my mistake, that even auto attacks are in power when he's, on, uh, when he's in a push. He actually gets extra damage. Yeah, 20 extra damage. So, that is to say, the next auto attack that he lands on me, I'm gonna die. So, I just flash away, bro. I just flash away. And I could have flashed away from the very beginning. But yeah, I, I to be honest, that's on me. I really don't know Ibrahim specifics because I really don't, I'm not that used to play against Ibrahim, bro. Who knows that Ibrahim gets out of the power when he hits from the bushes, dude? Who knows that? This is crazy. It's crazy. Anyway, crash the wave always before backing, crash the wave. And now we are starting to get spicy, okay? We are starting to get spicy. I'm thinking I'm gonna go Gracchus Slayer into Sun Racer into Gale Force. All right, and now is when the when the actual build starts warming up. When the actual build starts working, okay. Now here we want to contest uh, Drake, but because that fight lasted so long and we took so much time to back away, they got tempo advantage. But Kaisa wants to push first the way because I mean she's kind of doing the right thing, pushing the way but not risking this. All right, but the thing here is that the Briar is making mistakes. Briar is making mistakes. Trace is just not giving a damn for some reason. And Briar just, Briar just dies, bro. You, uh, crazy, right? Crazy. And I'm pinging back here. I'm pinging back so much right now because I don't want to commit here, dude. I don't want to commit here. I have wave, I have a wave under my tower, okay? But maybe two waves right now. And I need that XP. As I, I really, really need that XP, okay? And because I need that, even if there is a kill opportunity there, I'm not going to follow. I'm definitely not going to follow. That's why I ping back. Because if I were to follow a ping, uh, a kill opportunity there, and I die, or even if I get a kill, I will be losing way too much gold, brother. Way too much gold, way too much XP. And XP is very, very important, okay? That's why I don't follow that kind of kills, and I ping them back. Now, we just got the decent thing here. I mean, the normal thing here. Just push, slow push, try to crash it. Make sure to answer the enemies if they are, if they are stepping up. And then my bike oversteps. Briar was still bought for some reason. Who who knows? And then they get a kill. It is what it is, brother. If 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 weren't for those mistakes, we will be stomping these guys up very very hard. But because those things keeps happening, it is actually kind of difficult to to get advantage out of these kind of scenarios. Okay. So even if that look look at this, look at this guy thing, bro. Look at this guy thing. Damn, brother. Damn. And my pie gets cooked again. <laughs> okay. I'm just, it's, it's whatever. It's whatever. We just keep getting advantage, brother. The kiting is on point. Sweet kiting. And I think then danger because, bro, even I know that that's in team, dude. I mean, I know that's in team. But yeah, it's whatever. Now, from this point onwards is where the flaming kind of starts, bro. Because Shibana is saying, I have waves. I don't have... I'm, I really don't know a lot about temp top link tempo, so I'm not gonna address that topic that much. I'm just gonna let you know what they are saying. Echo is just saying, why aren't coming? And Shivani is saying, I have a wave on top side. 
And then why and Shivan is complaining, why do you do that? Why are you doing that? Why are you playing like this? And then he could say in di diamond. <laughs> well you can tell that. He could just say in diamond. And then Kazan is just laughing like crazy. And and <laughs> it's even funny to me because right now I'm taking my time to to read this and it's funny because Kasa thing is making fun of Shivana because Shivana is freezing when there is a herald herald up. Um when Herald is up you're supposed to get prior, not freeze the leg. And Shivana is complaining that she had a freeze, right? And and that it was Echo's fault actually. And then Kasadin is flaming Shivana's macro because she's not paying attention to the game, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's funny to me, bro. I don't know. I, I'd rather not flame, never. But the way that they are saying the stuff is just funny. Now, here's another thing, okay? They already wasted hook. We see they, they use hook here, okay? Wait, actually, they they use... They, they do not use hook. Let me check, let me check. Am I going crazy? Am I actually going crazy? No, they don't use hook. I, I, I almost went crazy there. Okay. We see that they use Lantern, okay? And for some reason, when I have a full wave here, my, well, the enemy trash says, hmm, I want that cannon. So you remember the mistake I said in the past, right? Wait for the wave, brother, wait for the wave. The wave is gonna crash on your, under your tower. You can get it under your tower, but he does not wait. So you can use auto him, root him, and well, you see how it is. He just dies. And this dead, End up ends up costing Kaisa a lot of minions because yeah she uses R and then fruit boom 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 not even a chance to flash not even a chance to flash there and then even somehow here already I use cleans to make sure that that Daisy is not gonna one be one me dude because Daisy is just crazy strong against an ATC <laughs> and my is just tilted brother my is just tilted I don't know what he's thinking he's thinking that even Shield has no cooldown. And he can just flash in and try to kill him, but yeah. I'm just focusing on the play, dude. I'm just trying to get uh, the safe play here, the consistent play, alright? I'm trying to tell them, okay, casting is the win con, but for some reason my team... I, I rather not speak because for some reason my team said, we have Alexis, the, the French guy, US, something, I don't know, dude. I don't know why, I don't know why they're thinking that I'm French or, or something. And I'm just, I'm just rolling with it, bro. So I'm just rolling with it. So I'm not, I'm not speaking at all. <laughs> I'm not typing. Now we're having problems here because we try to get kills. We try to fight this, but Pike dies. And because I know that this Briar already used stone, I just can't commit 100%. And I don't need to be afraid anymore. Now here, I kind of think maybe I should have let that kill to to Kasselin. Yeah, maybe I should have let that kill to Kasselin because I usually think Kasselins are very are very good players. And this Kasselin is very good. I can tell, you can tell because of his win rate and everything, all right? It's very easy. It's very easy to understand that. But the thing here is that I wasn't really thinking about that. And at this point, I kind of feel confident that I'm going to be able to carry matches. As long as I don't make mistakes, of course. Because if I end up making mistakes, yeah, forget about that. I'm not going to carry anything, dude. Now, another free kill because Trace just keeps respecting us. And as you can tell, mm, I don't know. Supportive? I mean, we actually punish mistakes, dude. So I, I say I actually play my part, but yeah, mistakes like this is something that you need to be very aware of in order to punish, right? You need to be thinking, how am I, how am I gonna be able to win this? What is their win condition and what is my win condition? Okay. Now I'm just trying to to hit her, but because she is away and Briar actually dodges, I just waste my ultimate. All right, so this is just lane phase, lane phase, lane phase, take, taking waves, making sure that I back with some razor. So this is very important. You need to be, you need to be paying attention to gold all the time, and you need to be paying attention to how much gold do you need for your next recall. You need to prepare your recall. You need to plan ahead, okay? Because otherwise you're not gonna play with your power spikes, and Aphelios power spikes are very, very important. Aphelios is nothing without items. You do not rely on your kit, almost never, dude. At this point, at least, I must never you, you rely on your key. You rely on your items only, okay? So you need to plan your power spikes very, very careful. Now we got into the point we have the optimal build. We have the insane good build, okay? And because I kind of played too careless here after catching waves and after trying to head topside because topside is committing too hard. Just ultimate, right? Just ultimate. 
easy kill. And then Herald, easy kill. I mean, easy Herald. And now here, because we're about to have Drake, I'm just trying to catch this wave, careless. And I try to punish that Kai'Sa, and that Kai'Sa actually beats me up. If it was any other champion that has no mobility, I kill him right there, right? But Kai'Sa extra speed is just crazy. And then because I don't insta flash here, and I don't insta... I mean, I don't insta cleans, and I don't insta flash, I just end up dying, bro. Because I could have... What I could have do, done here, now that I think about this, is just... Flash towards Briar, like here, as soon as I see Kai'Sa running this way, I flash here, right? I flash here and I dodge Kai'Sa W and I force her to flash, or just a straight up clean some flash faster. <laughs> I mean, that's, I'm, I'm theory crafting how I could have played this better, okay? But this is very important and pay a lot of attention to this. Would it have been better? Just not over the step here, bro. Just not over the step. I had nothing to win. Drake was about to be up. If I just don't over the step, we fight 5v5 and we actually win that fight, dude. Hmm? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. Is it better to make a safe play or just try to 1v9, brother? And this pack is 1v9, dude. <laughs> Enemy team keeps respecting pack for some reason and it's just not working. But now you're going to see why Briar is such a difficult champion to deal with. Look at this. 3v1, okay? 3v1. 4v1. 4v3. 2v3. Everybody dies, dude. Everybody dies. <laughs> I mean, it's casting in mid game, of course. You need to pay attention to that. Casting on mid game. But it's still Briar, bro. Briar. And then my pike, I don't know why. My pike is complaining. Why don't you get anti heal, right? Why don't you get executioner's calling? And then my my cousin is just making fun of this pipe because he's saying, "Sure, I'm gonna get anti heal me a cousin, and you pike, you are not gonna get it, right?" <laughs> it is very funny to me because cousin is hundred percent right, and you can tell we are kind of low elo because of those kind of calls, right? Because master grandmaster or pike is trying to make other people get anti heal instead of him getting hit. Because I don't really need building anti heal. Building anti heal is very, very bad for my build. Okay, very, very bad for my build. Now it's funny to me that I end up dying either way here. Yeah, just sad, dude. Now another thing that we see here is that you need to be ready to use your ult as soon as, soon as you're getting knocked up or getting CC. Okay, like for example here, flame. Ultimate. So you don't lose you don't lose out attacks. Although there was no way for me to dodge that hook, right? So I just roll with that. But that Briar bleeding, bro, that Briar bleeding with collector is actually actually crazy. He can one shot so many people and that's one of me, okay? And th those one of those people is me. No one of those people is actually me. I'm getting one shot. Briar Briar's insane. Either way. Going back to the to the execution calling and stuff, yeah, I really don't, I really cannot build that. I really cannot build that either. It it messes up my build so much, bro. It messes up my build so much. And then here they are flaming Shivana again, and then Shivana just complaining about how Echo mess up his lane. I mean, I am checking very quickly. I'm checking very quickly. Okay, this Shivana is Diamond Three, and he's complaining about the jungle. I mean, you can tell how a uh, how a player is hard to by this. Most most hard to players just complain, complain, complain. It doesn't matter. They have to master, grandmaster, diamond, platinum, gold. They just lose because their team screwed them up, not because they made a mistake, not because they could have played better. And this, and this is something you need to keep in your mind all the time that you want to improve. If you are losing, it's your fault, brother. It's your fault. It's always your fault. Okay. So if you, I know it, it's not healthy to think. <laughs> But if you focus only the thing that you can control and only the thing that you can improve on, I swear you're gonna start having way more fun, okay? And that is healthy. That is way more healthy than complaining all the time and thinking that your team is the only one at fault, okay? All right, brother. Keep that in mind. Or what do you think? Okay, anyway. Anyway, when anyway, anyway. Let me know what you think about that, okay? In the comments. That would be very helpful. Now, here is another one of those three situations where we actually force a fight when we don't need to force a fight and in a terrible position by the way so i'm just trying to put up as much damage as possible even if i'm not in range just you know inferno mar inferno auto attacks and from now on i'm actually watching this pattern i'm actually understanding okay my team is enemy team is just 
cramping up all together. Like they are just getting all together for some reason. Maybe Infernum is the way to win this, not Crescendum. So I'm gonna, from now on, I'm gonna try to pay more attention to, to Inferno, okay? And this is very helpful and this is very good why this why this build is so insanely good because Inferno is actually viable. It's an actually viable weapon to play with with this act high attack speed build, okay? And now, I, I don't know why Shibana, I don't know. Okay, this is one of the complaints I, I'm gonna do. I'm, uh, I don't know why Shibana is going for the ground, brother. I don't know why Shibana is going for the ground. Why is she, what is she doing that? We're, we we all pink Baron. We all are Baron. And because Shibana is not here, we cannot just go Baron right away. And I'm not gonna be able to run away from here unless I go with Kassadin right away. Or I'm just gonna make sure that Ibrahim doesn't get out of here, dude. Maybe I could have survived this, I'm thinking. Maybe I could have actually survived this. If I hit with Graviton instead of Severu. Two times. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but either way, that was just me spacing out because for a second there I thought I need to kill Ibrahim because Ibrahim is the jungler and I need I need them to avoid getting battered. But no, Ibrahim is not the jungler. And now I ping Shivana and everybody's flaming Shivana. Why 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 are you going Gromp? Uh, and they are telling him that he's a hypocrite, 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 hypocrite? Uh, you know what I mean, right? You know, he says something and then he does something else. Either way, my echo gets one shot it by Briar, whatever. So we are just looking to trade, to trade, to trade drakes here. We're just looking to trade drakes and not try to force too many drake, too many fights, okay? We, we are working with our build, bro. Look at that build, so sweet, so beautiful. And now one of the things about this build is I actually put up insane amount of damage with Severum Q. So Severum Q it actually becomes very, very strong. Look at this. Look at this. Chun, 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 chun. Okay. He doesn't seem he doesn't seem that strong, but I swear, bro. It's very, very strong. It's very, very strong. And there is gonna be a chance to, to see it onwards, okay? So stick by, stick by uh, until the end of the video. So I kinda waste my Gale Force and R because they moved too fast and I didn't follow up while he was in the air. But it's fine. We just get Drake and we keep playing. We, we keep playing with that. We or we condition is right now Drake, okay? And now because my pick my pike, my pike, my pike said I'm gonna get shield demolisher. I don't know what it's called. Well, that item that destroys shields or these shields in half. Because he said that and uh, you st I just said to him, okay, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get anti heal them. And then my cousin is on the back saying, I swear to God, brother, I cannot build anti-heal. <laughs> Bro, it's so funny. It, this match is so funny because <laughs> these guys are playing in such a funny way, dude. Now, Brian just keeps one-shotting my cousin, my cousin, my Jacob. And now, because I have Inferno, I'm willing to take this fight, bro. I'm 100% willing to take this fight. But remember, before we watch this fight and pay a close, pay a close attention to this, feel free to answer them. What is the thing that we need to be aware of, all right? CC, right? Insta cleans. Do we need to flash something? Yes, we we need to flash Jax because if Jax jumps on us with a with a thing that dodges out attacks, we are not gonna be able to fight that. We need to flash that out, okay? So showtime. Nice flash, right? Very good flash. Very very good. So that's how we save the day, bro. That's how we save the day. Infernum value. Actually, insane Infernum value without even having to use Ul because Ul was on cooldown. Boom, 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 boom. Nice flash, bro. I like that flash very much. Uh, that flash is just lovely. Yes. Indeed, dude. Indeed. Very well played. Very well played. Everybody, very well played. And because of that fight, we are still on game. Because if we all die here, it's gonna be very hard to keep for us to keep playing because they probably get an inhibitor of that and some a couple towards. Now here I'm just I'm just trying to farm. I'm just trying to farm. Now pay close attention to Severan Q, okay? Okay, I need you to pay a lot of attention to this, okay? Pay a lot of attention to this. I am full stack. I'm full stack with Stone Razor. Now I press it on Q. I'm full stack again. You see? Well, two or two out of being full stack. And that was one seven on Q, brother. One seven on Q. And by the way, I also also broke what two, three Kraken Slayer mark procs. 
It's insanely good, bro. Insanely good how Severum Q works with some race like Kraken Slayer. Because you need to remind you need to remember something, okay? Kraken Slayer increases the damage every time it's broke in the same target. Every time every time it gets used on the same target, okay? You need to remember that. And because I use that on a single target with Severum Q, it just gets insanely strong, dude. Now, by the way, here I'm committing very, very hard with everything I have. Also, I'm using cleans because of Nimbus Clock to heal that Kai'Sa. Because I don't want I don't want that Kai'Sa to 1v9 this fight, alright? And for sure, I don't want this Kai'Sa to play the game. <laughs> I definitely don't. Kai'Sa is one of my main priority here because I know Kai'Sa is going to be very difficult for Kassadin to to kill before level 16 and because Kai'Sa, Kaisa builds full lethality Kai'Sa can kill very easy also my my Kassadin I mean it's not that easy but it's is the main is the main enemy for Kassadin is the one who's gonna be very hard for Kassadin to kill okay now my Echo is just doing Echo stuff right Echo is showing us why he's Master Grandmaster Hardstock I think even when he complains about everybody else it's okay they use mess up. It's okay. Do not com do not complain in chat. Chill. Sit back and think. What is my next move? How can? What is the next thing I can do to to get back into the game? To keep playing this? To win this game? You think about that. You always need to think about that. And then your answer is of course Drake. But you need to remember, Jax is here, right? I know Jax is here, but I I I swear I did not thought that he was gonna be that. Difficult to kill, dude. Look at that, bro. It's charging into Sonja. This is some crazy stuff, brother. He, he, I cannot kill him. I cannot kill him. Look at that. He jumps on me with the stun. So I cannot hit him because I'm stunned. Alright? Then he Sonja, okay? And then he jumps back on me with that thing spinning so I cannot hit him through that thing and then afterwards he stuns me so bro how many seconds six seven seconds seven seconds were, which is impossible for me to kill him dude I mean I don't care if that's balance or not I, I don't give a damn bro I don't give a damn at this point I'm not gonna complain about balance or not I'm just saying it's very very hard to face a Jax very very difficult that's why you need cleans that's why you need girl for that's why you need flash and that's that is why I put I, I put so much emphasis on keeping track of enemies cooldowns keeping track of enemy summoners and fight only when you have your summoners okay that is why I'm so happy that they trade this baron for Drake because if they try to fight us, I definitely do not win, bro. Imagine Jack jumping on me with guys are following up with R. I do not win that, bro. I get one shot, dude. and I have no way to avoid that because clean some flash. Now here's another thing. Here's another thing why Inferno is so good. <laughs> why Inferno is so good? Dude. Look at that one shot, bro. Look at that one shot. Boom, boom, boom. And then you need to be you need to remember your priority target always the one who is the close who is closer to you or Kaisa of course right I know Kasadin gets followed by Kaisa what you change your target very very quick okay enjoy the team fight enjoy the team fight first Nice, dude. Nice. So I'm gonna break down the team fight now and make sure to pay a lot of attention of this. Okay, a lot of attention to this. Inferno R, like classic, just to start and do some damage. Hit as soon as possible. Hit as soon as possible. And then pay attention to the closest target and the priority target, which is Kaisa. As soon as he's on the range, auto, auto, insta kill. Now you might ask, you might ask, why I'm not going for trash here? Why I'm not going for trash? Why? The reason why I'm going for trash is because this Jax is spinning. And as soon as he starts, it, well, actually, I, should, I could have landed two autos on Calibre, with Calibre on Trace and I would have gotten him. Either way, I'm focusing Jax because after he spins, I get like one second, one point second, two seconds maybe, two point, maybe 2.5 without auto attacks. Well, I get some, I, I get a little bit of space to be able to auto attack, which I don't have if he is spinning. So this is my time. This is my own. This is the only time I have to be able to auto attack Jax. That's why I'm going. Of course, I did not expect Dresh to have Q again, which is my mistake. All right, but thankfully because I was 
auto attacking Jax as soon as possible, we are allowed to kill him before he tries to spin again, okay? Because I'm not playing with my Kassadin, alright? I'm not playing with my Kassadin. I don't know, who, I don't know who Kassadin is. I don't know if he's gonna play with me. So, as a tip, as a tip for you guys to understand, I never play with my team. I never play with my team. You never play with your team. You should never play with your team, okay? That's the best advice you can get. You play only with the things that you can control, that you cannot control your team. I was about to say something that would play, would sound so bad. I'm glad that we did, we did not end the video like that, like this, like the last time. Um, with me telling, saying something that sounds bad. Okay, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember that you can get coached by me if you become a member of the channel, a crescendo member of the channel. And you will help me a lot. Your support will be amazing if you become a member. Thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And see you all next time. Thank you, thank you, goodbye.